East London Swimmers, Madeleine Waller, Hoxton Mini Press. Again, another Mott Hoxton book. Love them. Here we go. Look at the size, A5, Zini sort of size. It's really good quality. One of the early ones, I think, this, what was it? There's a little quality, beautiful about mini press and a little statement. It's a place where everyone is free to be themselves. It also has a heated Lido and good coffee. My favourite thing about East London. Uh, Madeleine Waller, having studied a photojournalist at the London College of Printing, Madeleine Waller's work has been featured widely in major newspapers, magazines in the UK, as well as numerous um, times in the National Portrait Gallery. Um, in London, originally from Australia. She lives in Hackney with her partner and three children. And there's her website, and I'll put a link for that after that. And I will put a link for Hoxton Mini Press. So, East London swimmers, where are they swimming, I may ask? Where are they swimming? Both dressed as swimsuits and blah, 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 personal stories are real. Let's find out. I, I would presume, in first glance, it's the um, Serpentine or somewhere like that. In central London, but I may be wrong. We're going to uh, hopefully I'm going to find out somewhere in the book. Um, some Lido, isn't it? So this is book two. Book one is I've lived in East London for 86 and a half years, which I've got and I haven't looked at yet. Book two is East London Swimmers. Book three, a portrait of Hackney by Z Nelson, which I've looked at. So preface. London Fields. Uh, the London Fields Lido unveiled in 1932. Right. So it is, and it's not where I thought it was. So that's the text by Robert Crampton, Hackney, 2014. I'm not going to show you all of that, but I'm going to show you the Lido, and I'm going to drop this down a little bit so you get the full picture. So um, I'm not going to show you all of it. I think it's a portrait book. It is some establishing shots. I haven't really seen this for a while. I've just pulled it out of my bookshelf. Um, let's have a look. I don't know much about Madeleine's work, uh, I presume she's a portrait photographer. I may be wrong, but I'll find out, and you can find out with a link. So this is named Stuart, age 37, occupation, travel advisor. Quite an interesting first shot to start with. We've got a freezing cold Lido, and you've got a guy with a um, what looks like a North Face jacket on there. So it's interesting. And there you go. That's good. But right, I'm going to bring this even further down. So here's Stuart out of his cosy in his clothes and uh, in his cosy. Notice he's got the camouflage trunks on in both and that, and he's got the camouflage, um, he's a travel advisor, he's got the camouflage jacket on. Uh, I have swimming outdoor pools all over the world, Australia, Singapore, Hong Kong, and recently in Jamaica. But the Lido is like having your own private beach in the center of Hackney. It's known as Hoxton Beach, where you can get as many semi-naked, get so many semi-naked people in London. Okay. It, is it warm, I wonder? So Amanda, 65, occupation artist. Right, I see what this is about. So it's before and after, so that's good. That's really interesting. The thing I love, it's got text, it's giving you some introduction. I love it. Mark, dirty team leader, off with his clothes. And I, I wonder if that's heated. Maybe I should go back and read it. So it's lovely. It's a right nice little study. I'm jumping, so this is Lucy, filmmaker. Pregnant Lucy, um, and this is her um, cousin. Now we've got some swimmers, it's lovely, look at that. You may have noticed I've jumped a few. I think, like all the books I show on here, one because I like them, one because they offer something different, one because I want to support local independent publishing companies, but also because I'm actively involved with students, with 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 my own work as a photographer, and I'm involved with a lot of people who are active in the community, the photography world and the photography community, who are still very productive. It's a great research reference point. It's a cheap form of research. I think we get a bit lost on the internet. We get a bit, um, we get a bit carried away in information, and sometimes having the real thing, the real, like, the, the goods in your hand to show how, um, how, how important it is to f look at the finished product. So what I'm trying to get at is that the internet is good, the internet is a great source of research, but so is a book. Because when you're doing a project, you want to start right at the end, you want to sort of say, well, what do I want my project to do? 
what I want it to be, what I want it to become, what I want it to look like, how do I want to present it? So if it's a magazine or it's a book idea you've got, it's great to get a book like this in your hands. It's, this is, the internet's good to look at the pictures, but when you're creating books, you need to have books in your hands. You need to understand what a book's about and what, what, how personal it is. So if I was doing a, a sort of similar project or a portrait project, I might want to look at this book as a sort of reference guide of how my book could look. No better way to do it than to get it in your hands. And the book market's great because these books make these books go up in price eventually, and books are, are quite an asset and a very good um, good commodity to have and invest in. Anyway, great shot, love that. Let's have a look at Mike, 65 jazz musician, and there's Mike with his cosy on. I'm going to jump again to another abstract shot. So it's great that she's got two forms of uh, a, a sort of narrative of uh, cosy on and cosy off with the swimmers, a nice style all the way to it and then she's got the text and then she's got detail shot of why they're there a sort of abstract of the, the the swimmers and it's really nice and there's another one so i'm missing a lot out i missed a whole load of stuff out and here we go claire 29 head of talent and i put you all over the internet and claire with yeah cosy um she's australian Again, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Check that out. Look at that. Awesome. And I'm going to do one last portrait. It's Edward, 37, a writer. And there he is. Eddie's cosy with a bit of text about him. So let's finish on this shot. So it's a lovely little project. I love the fact that it's um, been published. Something I probably wouldn't get to see. Now I know about the Lido. That's a great idea. I fancy doing it myself. But, you know, if you're doing a project and you want to do something similar or you're doing a little local um, portrait project on something in your area, go buy this book. Go and have a look at Hoxton Mini Press. Go and have a look at it and go, you know, this could be a really good reference point and a good source of information for me to develop my project. And, you know... Don't rip it off, but just take and learn from it. Take something from it and learn from it. Anyway, thank you, Madeleine Waller. I'll put a link for your website, as I will Hoxham Press. Cheers.